cloud. Good evening, everybody. This is Sheila Matchett. It is April the 14th, 2022, and we are going to dive into social media. Um, it is a platform that some of us are using, but I don't think we are utilizing it to our fullest potential. Um, for those that was in Texas this weekend, you did hear some things and some training on a particular aspect of social media. Um, Y'all know me, I like to do my research. So please, um, what you heard this weekend is not duplicatable, okay? What we're gonna be doing is duplicatable. You don't need to go buy 10, 20 phones, hand out and get assistance if you are doing that or trying to do that. You can't teach that to your downline. You can't teach that to your students. So we're gonna show you um, how to duplicate it triple R style. Okay, how we're gonna do social edit, show some marketing um, so that you can not only grow your business, but you can build relationships, gain customers and find your niche. That is key, you need to find your niche. Um, so we are gonna go over one. Um, we have two presentations, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, one of them is gonna be just what is social media? Um, a lot of you don't understand it or, or don't understand it correctly. And then the key thing we're going to do before we even dive into different platforms is social market or social media etiquette. Um, so we need to make sure we cover that properly before we even get into the nitty gritty of how to post and market with social media. All right. So our platform today is going to be exactly that. We're going to go over um, what is social media. Uh, this is going to be a course until we finish, according to Rory. So don't know when that's gonna be because we're gonna cover all platforms over the next several weeks, um, starting with Facebook. Um, then we're gonna dive into Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, then all the other social platforms, MeWe, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Parler, there's tons of them. They all kind of work hand in hand. We're even gonna delve in for those of you that have Google AdSense, how to set up your Google store. Um, so again, all types of platforms and media markets out there. And we're gonna do them one by one, slow and steady, um, but we're gonna go over some basics first. All right, so are y'all ready? Let me get my screen up here. We have backup with us here now too, Sheila. I saw Miss Jackie and Char jump in. <laughs> <laughs> um, my ladies there, we kind of did a test run on this while we were in Texas. And um, they learned a lot. We learned a lot. And I created a couple of monsters, but it's fine. We are going to use their knowledge and their training that we did to get through this. So y'all know I like my Canva. Let me know if you can see all this. <coughs> Looking good. All right. So our social media, we're going to get started with our social media, which is our online marketing to grow your business. Okay. So one of the things we're going to do is just welcome to social media. Here you will learn the basics of joining and starting your social media community. And remember, that's what social media is. It is a community of like-minded people that you get together with. Okay. All right. Come on, get away. My next slide. All right. Step one, you want to join a media platform. All right. And that can, like I said, it could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, um, LinkedIn, uh, MeWe, Parler, there's several out there, but you need to join a social media platform. Okay. Once you do, do that, then you need to create your profile, your profiles where others will connect with you on a like, dislike, and similarities. Okay. You're going to create connections um, is the first step of finding what your niche is and to build your audience. And those of you that don't know what your audience is, those are gonna be potentially your customers, but they're also gonna be people that you like um, that have things in common. So you wanna make sure when you build your profile that you put as much information in there about you, not necessarily your family, but definitely put your relationship in there. You wanna put in there exactly what you do, put in there that you are a marketer. Um, don't just put, you know, willy nilly, don't be afraid to put out there, hey, I am a marketer. I am an internet marketer. I do online marketing. I do affiliate marketing. Put that out there along with your other stuff, you know, 
if you got a degree, if you did, you know, customer service in the past, whatever you have, put that out there because that's going to bring like-minded people to you. Um, so just make sure that you do that. Make it as packed filled as you can. Okay. Then you want to join groups. Okay. You're going to have your personal stuff out there or your personal uh, contact, personal site, but you want to join groups. So first of all, you're going to find groups on the platforms that you like and can relate to. You want to make sure you read their rules, regulations, and guidelines too, because some of them won't let you post marketing stuff out there. Some of them won't let you post links. So you want to make sure that whatever group you join, that you can adhere to those guidelines. Secondly, once you join that group, you want to engage in these conversations, okay? You don't want to put negativity out there. You don't want to slander. You don't want to put any weird post out there. You want to make sure that you are engaging with these people that are in these groups. And the reason being is once you engage with them and create that conversation and dialogue, then they also show up in your news feeds when you post personal stuff. So that's where you can see your marketing stuff, your stories, your reels. Um, you don't want to be out there posting all kind of stuff about family, friends. You know, you don't want to be negative. OK, and third and most important, don't always be advertising. Like I said, under these rules and regulations, there's some groups you can't do that. So you want to openly engage so that when they do ask you those questions, then you can come back and say, oh, let's go to a PM or let's go to a DM so we can talk about this one on one. Um, that way you still follow those guidelines, rules and regulations for that group. But you can also build that relationship. Um, and that's the main thing you want to do. So don't always be advertising, even on your personal um, site or your personal post page, don't always be advertising, give them stuff that they can use. All right, post daily. It's not a one and done and just hope that it stays out there. Um, so you wanna use your images. You want to, you know, although our words are powerful, images speak louder. So always have an image to go with your post. Um, the algorithms for all the, all the social media platforms, here's the way it posts. Videos are always first. So there's where your reels come in. They get the most exposure. Images are second. Words and phrases are third. So you always wanna make sure that you always have stuff up there. Uh, whether it's you know things about your family, uh, trips, ideas, craft things you do, or even your marketing ideas. The only thing is with your marketing ideas, you want to limit those. You only make, might want to do maybe a post a day towards your marketing or even every other day, but you want to be on there posting daily, at least a couple times a day. If you're on social platforms, then it is social. You know, we, we're not necessarily going out meeting people here and there. You're meeting them in a platform on the internet. So again, engage in them. Use your videos, put yourself out there. Um, like I said, the videos get better ratings, get better algorithms than just images, than just words. Um, and especially if you wanna market, those videos are great. YouTube, Vimeo, those are the perfect um, vehicles that you can use to put yourself out there because then you can market them to other things and they're free. You can create these accounts for free. All right, so you wanna do that. And then you can actually, you know, when you go on vacation, post your videos out there, post your reels out there. And then when you do your wine unboxings or your Vela Vita snaps or show your daily routine with your watch, then you can put that out there on your Vimeo or on your YouTube and post that in your, in your chats or in your post um, and let people see what you're doing. Um, they will watch that. You can put it on your reels and videos guys link to every media platform that we, you have access to. So get yourself out there, come out of your box a little bit um, and put yourself out there. Put your social media on your phone, okay? So as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, probably can't because I got screen share up, but I have all of my platforms on my phone, my major ones that I use. So if you are in 10 social media platforms on your computer, but you know you only use three or four on a consistent basis, make sure those apps are on your phone, okay? That is a marketing tool for you. Um, so if you don't have it on your phone, you're losing valuable marketing time. You're losing, res res uh, what do you call it, uh, real estate. Um, you're losing time. 
because I'm sure you're stuck in carpool lines, you're stuck in traffic, you're sitting, you know, in the grocery store, um, you might be waiting on things at the doctor's office if you have to go, dentist, whatever. There's places where you have downtime, even if you are on a job and you have lunch time, break time. On those social media platforms, if they're on your phone, that's your work time. That's your time when you can go and build your business. Um, also on your phone, you should have your Google Drive or your Dropbox, one or the other or both, depending on the space you have for your phone. These are work just like iCloud. So all of your information can travel with you. So if you've created your templates in your Google Drive or on your Dropbox, they're with you. So you just a matter of pulling it up, grab your templates, copy it, go to your app, Download your app, grab a picture, and boom, you've done it. You've advertised to your social media. Um, so make sure that you are gaining that. So if you're not using these free tools on your phone, then you're potentially losing that connection with somebody that needs it. You're potentially losing a customer, a relationship, or even a sale. Okay. The other thing is have fun. Um, if you're new to the marketing arena, just have fun, learn and engage with people, especially if you're in these groups that are out there that you're like, ask them questions, engage with them, build that relationship before you ever think about building a business platform with them or gaining a customer. They will learn and trust you more by you engaging with them so that when you do post stuff on your personal post, they will see that. Um, and they will follow you, they will like you, they will ask questions, you will develop your niche. Um, and just go and have fun, okay? So that's part one, all right? Good so far? Awesome. Got it? All right, you ready for part two? Of course. <laughs> we ready. All right, so part two. And this is a biggie, guys, because um, there's a lot of you that, unfortunately, um, your etiquette is a little um, flawed. And let me get this here. Come on. Wait, let me get this one off. Did I already have it up? I might already have this one up. All right, it don't want to do its thing here. All right, we might have to do this one manually. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, baby girl. Okay, we're gonna do this one manual. I was gonna say, you want me to share? I think I had it up here just a little bit ago. I can bring it back up. Yeah, I don't know why I don't want to. Let's see, let me close this and open it back up. It could be that I had two different ones open. It didn't like it. So open you. Yeah, for some reason, I don't want to. <clears throat> All right, that's fine. We can do it this way. All right, so on our social media. Social media marketing, like I said, this is just a basic introduction. Um, and social media is all about any place that you connect online. So that's with your blogs and your website, networking, your internet, marketing, going viral, doing strategies, being online and just doing basic media. So what this video is gonna be doing or this training is gonna be showing is our goals. Our goals is to learn social media et etiquette and there is etiquette to social media. Um, we're gonna be doing our do's and don'ts, what you can do, what you can't do, what will be best, show you how to be visual. We already talked about that a little bit in the first presentation. Okay, the second thing we're going to talk about is separating your personal and your business information on your platforms. And that's big because a lot of you don't. Um, and we're going to show you how that you can still use your personal platform for business. You don't have to create two separate ones. 
Um, but if you're one of these people that kind of get diary of the mouth, you know, you can't really hold things back, then that's definitely where you want to create two different platforms. And your professionalism. These two kind of go hand in hand and I'm gonna show you how that works. We're gonna, there it goes, perfect. It just had to catch up. All right, so getting started. Social media etiquette is basically the same no matter what the outlet is. Um, social media performs posting, uh, platform posting should follow the same guidelines, rules, and regulations as face-to-face -face social gatherings. Um, as you learn to use social media platforms to market, remember etiquette is the key to attracting your market audience. Okay, so here we go. Basic do's and don'ts. As in life, the social media platforms also have some etiquette's do's and don'ts. Maintaining your professional demeanor, keeping your personal media clean and non-negative, see double negative there, has a big impact on the people you track. So when you set up your profile, like I said, make sure everything is there that's key that's going to attract like-minded people. Um, like with me, I'm a cartoon buff. I love Bugs Bunny. So that's in my profile, but I also have three degrees, you know, ranging from computer science all the way to nursing. So I have that in there. So I have a great big genre of people I can connect. Um, you want to separate your personal and bit your personal profile. So if you can't keep your family negativity or things like that out of your social media um, when you're out in there then you might wanna create that business, uh, business platform or profile separate from that. Um, and when I say family stuff, you know, if you're having trouble with your husband or your sister or your brother, um, then you don't wanna go out there and blast them. If your best friend all of a sudden did something you don't like, you don't wanna go out there and blast them because that will affect everybody that you've built relationships with that are following you or that view your information. When you put personal stuff out there, then that's fine. Make sure that it's in a positive light and that it's not going to be detrimental to those business-minded people that come in and see your news feeds. Um, so you don't want to have a lot of complaining and negativity. There are groups out there that support that type of things. So those are the groups you go into where you can go in and get that help. You go in and do this, the counseling, the support. Not to say that you can't go out there like with my dog passing away and put your story out there of how that felt and how you deal with that. But again, just be very mindful of things that you wouldn't talk to a big group of people about. You don't want to blast it on social media. Um, you don't want to put in there on social media, hey, I'm getting ready to go away for a week on vacation. My house is going to be empty. There's troublemakers out there. They're going to be looking for you. They're going to be finding, oh, I got something out there I can go do. So just be very cautious of what you put in there. Again, you want to be helpful when you join these groups. You want to engage. You want to give information, even in your personal post. You want to be more helpful than needy, if that makes sense. So you want to give them those inspirational memes, those Bible verses, those pictures, those happy photos. You want to give them recipes and ideas for different things. Um, the other thing, like I said, you want to think before you post. So when you get ready to put something out there, you want to think, is this going to affect me five years down the line next week? Is this something I want somebody to know about? Uh, do I, is this something that needs to be swept under the rug later? And the reason I'm saying that is because once you put it in social media, everybody can see it that can see it. Even though you take it down, you don't know who's copied that to save for later because you can't remove their copy. Um, and they can pull it up at any given time and say, oh, look what you did five years ago. Um, and then you're blasted. I mean, you could have a huge business and one little negative post or detrimental post that you did two or three years beforehand can come out and totally wipe everything you've done. So again, think before you post. Um, always do that first and foremost, just like when you talk. Before you let that one little word slip out, think, how's this going to come back and hurt me later? Um, engage and post often and be visual, visual, images, 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 video. Okay, here we go. Be visual um, is the key. People want to see you. They want to know who you are. So if you're constantly posting memes and pictures of product and not of you, they're not going to engage with you because you're not being very honest. You're not being, um, what's the word I'm thinking? Um, 
transparent and you need to be transparent. They need to be able to see you, relate to you. They can't relate to a meme all the time, 24 seven. They can't really relate to just a post. So they want to see your picture out there. And there's some of you that's like, I'm not getting on social media. I don't want them to see me. Then you won't you won't get the audience and the response you're looking for. You will never be big on social media. You won't be, you won't go viral. And that's the one thing you want to do is you want to go viral. You want to have a million views. You want to have a million likes. You want more than that. You want to be noticed. That's the way you're going to gain your audience. You're going to find your niche and you're going to get that business growing the way you want it to. Okay. The other thing you want to do is, like I said, contact uh, content and images. So make sure that when you do post an image, your content matches the image. So you don't want to be out there posting all your wines and Bella Vida, and then the content that you post doesn't match or relate to your image. So always make sure that they relate. Um, verify your facts. So if you're putting things out there and it's because it's hearsay or you thought somebody said it and you post it and find out it's not right, it's not right that discredits you from anything else you've done, you're gonna do. So make sure before you post, it goes hand in hand. Think before you post, verify your facts before you post information out there. Make sure what you're saying is accurate. Um, the other thing is know your audience. So when you join these groups, there's some people I talked to this weekend that said, oh, I just joined a group because it was there. All right, you have nothing in common with these groups. So you can't even engage in them. So when you do join these groups or groups, group or groups, make sure it's something you like that you can actively engage in or something you want to know about. Because a lot of these groups, when you go in there, they don't like marketers. They don't want you to come in marketing or cross-marketing or trying to steal their customers. Um, some groups I'm in, they give you a day to go in and do that. But for the most part, they want information. They want to get to know you. They want you to relate. The other things about social media is hashtags. Hashtags is big, it's growing. It's the way people search for things on social media, especially on your phone, especially for mobile apps. Hashtags is the key. Again, don't abuse the hashtags. There are certain platforms that if you post the wrong hashtag for your comment, they take your whole con uh, content down. So you wanna make sure that if you are using hashtags in your post, that they are relevant to what you are talking about or what your picture depicts. Um, so make sure you're doing that. In most places, you only need to use five, no more than six hashtags per post. Um, don't go in there and put a whole page of posts and that's our, our hashtags. You wanna make sure that they're relevant. You wanna make sure they're trending. You can use other, piggyback on other people's hashtags. That's how you get noticed. That's how you get followings is by piggybacking on other people's hashtags, as long as they're relevant to what you're marketing, okay? And the other thing I see people doing all the time is they'll create a really good post on their personal post and then they start posting it everywhere. And sometimes the content is not exactly right for the place you post it. So before you repost uh, something that you've done, make sure that you tweak it to go with the group you posted it to. So if I'm posting about Bugs Bunny and how you know I got this great marketing program, I don't wanna go to my business partner uh, group that I have and post about Bugs Bunny. I want to tweak it to where it sounds more of a professional realm about how I can do animation. That sounds better than Bugs Bunny. But when I go to my anime uh, group, I'm gonna put in there, hey, I got this great Bugs Bunny GIF, GIF, y'all need to look at it. So again, you wanna make sure that when you repost a post that you have, no matter what platform it's in, that it makes sense to that platform, that you are connecting to your audience there. Again, just have fun, learn it, master one platform before you jump to the other one. That's another thing, okay? Here's a big one, like I said, separate personal and business profile. Um, as we set up our social media platforms, we want to make sure that we set, separate our business and professional profile. So you can have two different platforms or have two different profiles set up. However, if you are very cautious, you can do it with one. Um, like I said, if you need to go and blast somebody, then do it on a PM, you know, say, do them face to face, but don't post that and blast that out on your social media platform. It will 
it will backfire on you, especially if you want to create a group. Because like I said, the minute people respond to you, give you a thumbs up, comment to anything you post out there, then you start finding the um, showing up in their, their reels. You start uh, uh, showing up, excuse me, <laughs> in their news feed. So whenever they pop up on their personal Facebook, then all of a sudden you see those images that pop up. That's from people you've responded to that you've liked or groups that you've joined. So if somebody's responded to you, then anytime you post, it shows up in their news feeds. So if you've posted something negative and blasted it to everybody, it's going to show. And if it's a professional or somebody that could potentially be part of your group, part of your downline, or even a potential customer, they're going to see that and they're going to be like, oh, wait a minute, maybe this isn't somebody I want to be in business with or somebody I want to work with. So again, if you are that type of person that you can't really hold it in, then definitely make sure you create a business profile and a personal profile and don't mingle the two. All right. But if you can be that, um, what is the word I'm looking for? That dedicated, then go ahead, you know, and, and, and do that. If you can be that disciplined, then just have one. Then that way everybody meshes together and everybody sees that. Just remember, you attract what you post. So if you post a bunch of negativity, you're going to get negativity and you will never get the people that you need to get um, what you want from your business. Okay. Show your professionalism. Okay. So this is just a basic flow. You want to make sure you update your profile um, constantly. So if something changes or you get a new habit or a new niche or you find something new, make sure you go in and update your profile. Um, you want to engage your audience, always know your facts, you want to be helpful and inspiring whenever you post, you want to be visual, like I said, have those images, get on YouTube and create a video, if you don't like YouTube, get on Vimeo and go in there and create a, a you know, a video, and then you can market those just about anywhere, promote yourself, let people know who you are, you know, get out there and introduce yourself. Tell them what you do. Be proud of being a marketer. That way, when you do post something, you know, for your company, they're not shocked. They're not going to go, oh, that's all they got me on here for. If you let them know in the beginning, then when they see that one or two posts a week about your business, it's not going to cause them to quit following you. It's not going to cause them to stop engaging. It might actually cause them to engage. Well, what are you doing? You know, how does this work? So again, promote yourself. Let them know what you're doing. Um, most of all, have fun. Go out there and experiment with it. Find things out. Discover who you like and who you attract. Um, and just, you know, find your niche. Your professionalism. Um, as you learn proper etiquette for your social media marketing, it will also carry you through every other social platform that you join. Um, by using basic common sense and think before you post, you can attract those people you need to grow personal relationships as well as a great business base. So again, you know, just like you would do in an office setting, make sure your social media etiquette follows that same genre. However, you would act around an office venue, that's the way you need to be on social media. It's the same concept. You're just online. Um, you're not sitting face to face with those people, but they can still see and interact with everything you do because you're blasting it basically to the world instead of a select group of people. So make sure your professionalism shows in everything that you do. And again, the biggest thing that I can say is make sure you act and think before you post. So think before you post, how's this going to affect me? Is this a good post? Um, is this going to be detrimental in the long run? Um, who am I going to hurt? Am I going to, you know, basically take away half my audience because I'm going to put this out there? Um, am I going to attract the wrong type of people by posting this out there? Um, like I said, if it's something that you really feel strong about and you want to get it out there, then go and join a group that's um, specific to whatever situation you have coming up. Okay, don't plaster it on your personal. So that's it, guys. Um, I just want to thank you. Um, in conclusion, just remember that what you post on social media will follow you always. It cannot be undone. 
It speaks volumes about you, your attitude, your place in life, and how you appeal to others. So while you want to attract people, you want to make sure that they are the right people. Um, so use your hashtags, piggyback on other people that have great hashtags out there that has a huge following for those. Join groups that you will engage and that will also inspire you. Uh, respond and interact with people that comment on there. You know, don't just look at their comment and give a thumbs up. Actually type and start a conversation. Our whole program is based on BRT, build relationship and trust. A thumbs up cannot talk back to you. Um, so give comments, write and type in there exactly how you feel. Um, and then respond to everybody that responds to you. Um, but most of all, both um, to remain both courteous and professional. Don't just meet negativity with positivity um, or don't meet it at all. You don't have to respond to everybody that you know, gives you some nasty feedback. You can also just go in and delete them. You know, you can report them to the social media platform. They do have that. They police their own group. Um, so again, I just want to say thank you. Um, we, I do have a couple of pages that has this in a platform that you can see, and I'll be sharing that. So those of you that have um, associates that didn't join our program or won't be joining these or miss one, these are only going to, the videos are only going to be accessed through the VIP program. So if you're not here live, you don't get to play back. So just give that out to your team. Um, boy, that was fast. <laughs> I think you covered it well. I mean, we want to kind of introduce it slowly because it's going to overwhelm a lot of people. Yeah. And, you know, we're, we're going to take each, you know, some of the bigger social media things one at a time to give you guys some helpful tips on getting started on Facebook, getting started on LinkedIn, what to, you know, how to protect yourself on some of these. We're going to be covering some of that. But the biggest thing with all of this is you just have to use it. Make the mistakes and learn from it. I mean, I, this weekend, Sheila was teaching us TikTok and I meant to hit draft and I hit publish instead. You got and a ton of hits. <laughs> and I did get a ton of hits and she's like, well, you were meant to do it now. And it's like, but I really wanted to do draft. <laughs> but that's the thing guys, just with social media, the thing for tonight is, is to get yourself prepared. I put a couple of uh, links of pages that I wrote that cover what we talked about tonight. You're also going to see in their different platforms. So go out there and start exploring those platforms. Uh, go out there and start creating your profiles because we will be going over those um, in detail on how you can market with them um, and get get your face out there. Get your no get noticed. Um, it is an aspect that we've used, but not to its fullest potential. And like I said, those that were in Texas, not to be negative or down the way that they market, but the way they market's not duplicatable. It doesn't follow our triple R code and ethics. Uh, it works for them, but we can't teach that to y'all. It's impossible. Um, what we're gonna be teaching you is how you can do it and still get the same traffic, the same results that they are getting, but you can also duplicate it to your downline to your students, to yourself. Um, and it's one of those things that you're gonna need to come and take notes and then go practice, practice, practice. Just go out and have fun. The biggest thing that a lot of you are gonna, um, how can I say this? The biggest hang up a lot of you are gonna have is putting your face on social media. You're not going to want to get out there. You're going to say, well, I don't want so-and-so to see me. Well, I got this problem. I don't need them following me. You know what? When you see them pop up, block them. You know, you don't have to friend request them. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to find a way to, to see you. Okay? You have to get over those hangups. You are a business that you are marketing socially. So in order to do that, they have to know you. If you want to get those clicks, if you want to get those sales off your social media, 
If you want to get people coming to your website from social media, especially those of you that have Google AdSense or is applying for Google AdSense, they got to know you. They got to learn who you are. They got to trust you. And they can't do that if they never see who you are. So those of you that um, are on social media, any platform, and you've got images of anything other than your actual photo, go change it. They need to see who you are. Yep, so your profile picture needs to be you. You. And if, you got, if you got your dog up there, you got your kids up there, that's the other thing. Don't post your kids as your profile. There's, there's mean people out there. So don't post your kids, your grandkids. If you have a picture of them, I do. I put my grandson out there all the time, but he's usually with me. He's usually dressed. Don't put pictures of your kids in bathing suits and bathtubs and stuff like that. There are creepy people out there. But you do want to make sure that if your profile is not a picture of you, go change it now. People want to see you. They don't want to pull up your profile and there's a picture of wine ambassador logo or a picture of a wine meme um, or your favorite car. You know, I love my, my, me and my husband's Mustang. It's beautiful. Everybody wants it, but you know what? It's not my profile picture. You know, just think of your, your profiles as a continuous zoom meeting. Would you actually show that picture on a Zoom call and vice versa? Yeah. While on a Zoom call, do you really want that portrait of you out on social media? So how you start carrying yourselves from the beginning, you know, are you at your, you know, are you doing this Zoom call from your bed and you're just like this in the bed? Is that yeah. professional? No. We're business owners. We want you. We want to help you guys to grow your business and take take ownership of your of your business. We're here to show you the steps on what's helping us to be successful. And I've already seen personally, as of today, I got an email from Google AdSense that just by changing up the way the kind of pictures I was posting on Facebook and so other social media, taking pictures of my new alkalarian diet, you know, the, the lifestyle with a brain and the plus and the youth and doing videos of myself in the morning with my head wet using the plus. My Google AdSense went up over 80% in the month of March. That's how quick a change can happen. I'm not saying you're going to make hundreds of dollars right away, but that is how quick when you take those kind of right actions. Um, Char, Jackie, do you guys have anything you want to that we've maybe not touched on? Well, I would like to say not just social media, you have neighborhood groups you can join. If you've already joined them, invite them in. Um, I did that two years ago and I got over 100 ladies come in. And I still keep in contact with them. And it's, it's a good way to keep, um, to keep your social media active uh, and to bring new people in. So go try to find a local neighborhood group uh, that you're interested in. Uh, that actually helps your social media as well. Um, and don't be afraid to take videos, short little snippets. And you don't have to post them right away. Keep them on file. So you can put them together and make a large video out of short little snippets. And uh, that way you can also save in your draft and not have to worry about the watermark so you can use it on multiple platforms. Exactly. Well, I'm sure Sheila will be covering that later when she goes into yep. detail. <laughs> what about you, Jackie? What you got for us? Anything? Kind of blew y'all's mind this weekend, but that's okay. <laughs> She might be. Oh, well, Jackie's video went viral for sure. Yes, Jackie's, oh, Jackie's was crazy. It went viral, and, and I mean, in a matter of seconds. That's one of the things we're going to be talking about, guys. But again, we, you want to make sure, like Stacy was saying about your profile. The other way you can think about your profile, especially if you're thinking about joining some groups, you, there's tons of groups in your area. So when you go to Facebook and look for groups, look for groups in your area. 
Don't be looking for out of state groups or anything like that. Look for groups in your area because you might have a meet and greet. They might say, hey, we're going to be at the local Starbucks, you know, come down. That's the perfect face to face social gathering. Pass out samples, let them know what you do. Um, but your local groups are the key. The other thing you want to do, like I said, think of your profile for every platform as your resume of yourself. OK, if you're going to a job or you're going um, to, a, uh, like I said, uh, say you you got a potential uh, marketing partner you want to introduce yourself to, would you say, hey, go look at my profile on Facebook, go look at my profile on Instagram. Would you be OK with that? If your answer is no, I don't want to see it, then nobody else is wanting to see it either. If you can't tell any, just like I tell everybody, I don't use Rory's website. Oh, go look at, you know, to, to uh, whatever it is. I can't even remember right now. I tell everybody, go check out Shot With Mama T. I send them to my website. So you're, if you can't send people to your website because it's not finished, you need to fix that because you should be marketing your website, nobody else's, not your instructors, not Rory's. You should be marketing your website. So when you go to social media, remember you're, mark, you're going there to market your stuff. So your profile needs to be professional. It needs to be where anybody business-minded or even you know, the neighbor down the street can go in it and get information on you that they can make a conscious and educated decision on whether or not they want to follow you on whether or not they want to read your information and see what you have out there. If you can't, in good faith, send out your profile to a business as a resume, then you need to go fix it. You need to be able to tell anybody, go look at my profile, and you can determine whether or not you want to do business with me. So that's why you need a professional picture. When I say professional, just make sure that, you know, you got your hair done, your makeup on or whatever. You're not showing up in your curlers or, you know, <laughs> not shaved. Um, got two days worth of sleep in your eye, you know, clothes are wrinkled. You want to make sure that you are presentable um, in a business manner. Um, you know, I always say act like you're going to church or going to your office. One of the two, whichever one you visit most. Mine be church. <laughs> my office is here and I usually show up my PJs. <laughs> but um, So going forward, um, like I said, next week, it might be next week. It might be Saturday. I'm not sure. I'm going to see what Rory says. Uh, we will be diving into Facebook. That's going to be our first platform because it is the most popular currently. So if um, you do not have a Facebook profile and a Facebook uh, account, go create one. If you have one and haven't been on there for a while, um, go open it back up, get familiar with it. Because, or if you don't want to mix it with your personal, you can create yep. a page, a business page off your personal. And keep it yep. And we're going to be showing you how to do all that. Some of you were like, well, I, you know, I, I'm one of those that literally have diarrhea of the mouth. I can't shut up when I know I'm supposed to. So that's when we're going to go in and show you how to create that business profile and that business page in with your um, personal page so that they can be totally separate. Um, so again, you want to make sure that you have that set up because that profile, you can do that same profile through every platform that we're going to be setting up. Um, in those two pages, I mentioned some different platforms that you can go and research um, and join and see how you know they work. Um, get familiar with them so that when we do get to them, you're not totally lost. Because if you are not familiar with them and haven't been in them looking around when we go to train on them, you're going to be lost on step one and it's going to be hard to catch up. So just like with your website, go in there, play around, look and see, find some connections. Um, and, you know, it's not going to hurt. You can't mess up. The only way you can mess up is, like I said, be negative and constantly posting ads. You don't wanna do it. Remember, these are social platforms. People wanna know what you're gonna give them. They wanna know what you can educate them with. They wanna know what they can come away with. And then when you throw an ad in there, they're okay with it because you already told them, number one, you're a marketer. So make sure that is in your profile somewhere. 
when you do your introduction on all the platforms where you go in and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I'm a marketer. That should be your first or second sentence. I'm a marketer. But I also do this, this, and this, and this. I enjoy this. I like this. Um, I'm avid, you know, this and that. When we were in Texas, our the first night we were there, the gentleman beside us, you know, we drug him in on our Zoom call and come to find out he's an avid fisherman. I'm an avid fisherman. My husband, an avid, he's been all over the world fishing. We've talked about mahi mahi. We talked about about peacock bass. We talked about tuna. We talked about everything under the sun. Talked about the Nicaragua where he went and fished. And before he left there, he had a pack of Zleem, uh, Zleem not Zleem, he had a plus, a brain. Um, I even gave him a Valentis. I think I have one, a stick of that in my pocketbook. Plus he left with Stacy's pen, my pen and a business card. So, and he, and he was talking about how He's in his office and this, he bought this nasty stuff from one of his coworkers that he absolutely hates. He said it tastes like sawdust, but he's lost 40 pounds on it. He's like, well, I said, I said, here, you don't have to give up nothing. Take one of these in the morning and one of these in the afternoon. You're good to go. He's like, I'd love that. So, I mean, again, just remember, you know, on my pen, he can go in there and look at my stuff. So again, market and attract people based on how you present yourself. So if you're out there and they can see your face and when he goes to my Facebook page, guess who he's gonna see? Me, my face. And he's gonna say, oh, that's that lady I talked to, you know, in McKinney or where Garland, wherever we were at, <laughs> at the Mexican restaurant, you know? So that's how you want. You don't want them to come to your profile. And like I said, see an animated picture because then they're like, well, am I at the right place? You know, did I come and see the right person? And then next thing you know, they've gone without even viewing your profile because they got scared. All right. So you want to make sure that you are presenting yourself appropriately. So remember that etiquette. Like I said, you know, engage. Make sure you are in the right groups that you are can actively conversate with people. Don't put negativity out there. Don't always be posting stuff. Um, and make sure that you are posting correct stuff. Um, you know, so if you're talking about your wine and dines or you're talking about your, your recipes in there, you know, or if you're talking about your vacation time, um, you don't want to go in there and just talk off subject or put a picture that's totally off subject or a hashtag that's totally off subject. Because then you, you, you get people that's like, what are they talking about? It don't make sense. So you wanna make sure that whatever you're using follows the profile of what you're marketing or what you're talking about, that everything is cohesive, okay? You don't wanna be disjointed. You will, lose, you will lose followers, you will lose readers if you are not disjointed. Think of your post just like an SEO, everything's gotta have its order, all right? So if you're out of order, it makes no sense. And the readers were like, that makes no sense. Why did they throw that in there? And they were talking about this. All right. So you want to make sure that you are engaging and that whatever you post makes sense. So that's why I say when you do a repost, make sure when you repost it to another group that it makes sense to that group. So if I'm posting my recipe, I don't want to go to my business ad site and say, oh, here's my recipe. And they're going to, why are you sending us a recipe? Uh, this, this is for business. So why are you sending us a recipe on advertise your business? So that means I got to tweak it a little bit. So it's more towards the wine and Hey, this is how I marketed my wine instead of saying, Oh, here's my recipe on my chicken wings. That makes no sense. So again, you want to make sure that when you repost and a uh, post that you have to different groups, that it makes sense. Um, and get rid of the negativity guys. If you have to be negative, find a group. I promise you there's a negative group, but if you follow that group, I promise you, you won't have the people that you need to have because that negativity will bring you down. One so, other thing is, is people, uh, for like Vela Vida, we know some of these girls out there are social media mavens. I mean, they're just foaming at the mouth. That's all they push. And you can follow them. But like Sheila said, it is not duplicatable. 
We want to keep this duplicatable and relevant to what we do. They only are marketing, only promoting Velavita. We have so much more. Yes. We have a website that allows us to do so much more. Okay. So you can take tips from them as to how they've maybe laid out a picture or something or how they did their posts. Don't ever reshare any of their posts. You create your own. Okay. You can recreate it to make it look like theirs. Guys, I'm going to recommend no lipstick. That's just for the guys. But <laughs> I had to lighten up. The, okay. Mr. Eaton, Robert, I see you. You want... If you want to do the Cursed Cosmetics lipstick, I'm not going to stop you. There is a place for that. I'm telling you. <laughs> there is, there is. But I know we've thrown a lot at you guys. We're really going to try and keep it simple. I'm going to ask that you guys just kind of hold off on your questions. Let us get into teaching you the individual platforms. platforms. And I think we'll be able to answer most of your questions over the coming weeks. We are not going to jam this in over four weeks. We're going to take our time and we're going to do it right. Sound good? Thumbs up. All right. All right. So that's it. There's um, two links, like I said, in the chat. You can copy those. It has a breakdown of what we went over today. Um, so you can go in there and look and keep that there. And like I said, guys, go in there and literally find places um, and get familiar if nothing else, Facebook, go to Facebook and create that or play around with that. Um, reacquaint yourself with some of your old classmates, family, friends that you haven't connected for a while. But just go out there and start a conversation with somebody and don't let it all be triple R members. <laughs> yes. No, as far as it comes up on your feed. Yeah, so you even though it news. comes up, still engage. But I mean, there's other people. Look through that news feed, guys, and say, oh, there's something there I like, and comment on it. Um, and, and then go and search people. Go up there in the search bar and search, hey, where's my old high school, you know, person, my best friend, my, you know, that quarterback, that all-star basketball player that you remember. See if they're on there. Um, you know, but, you know, just play with it. Just play with it. Just that's get out the, there. That's for the birthdays. Every day, the birthdays on your yes. feed, all your friends are posted. Go out there and write them a heartfelt happy birthday. Even if some of them are just a, a quick happy birthday, put their name in it. Don't just say happy birthday, exclamation point. Say happy birthday, Tracy. Happy birthday, Tim. You know, whatever. Well, They're going to comment. You can just put a little emoji. At least that'll keep them in your feet. Exactly. Yep. All right, so we're going to be going into detail about how to use those um, next week. So if you know um, uh, part of your team is not here, tell them they're sorry. You're sorry. There won't be a video for them to see unless they are in our, our VIP and not to miss next week. Because like I said, these videos are only available through the VIP program. So if you're not a VIP, you won't have access to these videos. So make sure you're here live um, or get with your instructor and see what you need to do to get VIP access. It's simple. <laughs> Are we done? I got to finish my TikTok that I started. <laughs> you go, Stacey. <laughs> I'm I'm creating a monster, a TikTok monster. Yes, but it's did. good, guys. And we will be going through that. Um, there's a lot of stuff that we're leaving on the table that we're not going to leave on the table anymore. Um, Roy gave us permission to do this um, this weekend. He said, teach, teach our group correctly so that we can get our piece of the pie on the social media platform. And that's what I'm going to do because y'all know I research everything. I make sure I know exactly what I'm talking about before I tell you guys. And I had three wonderful ladies that were my guinea pigs this weekend. <laughs> Who wants to be on the Velavita stage next year? Oh, yes. Yeah, Velavita stage. I already got my... We already got a plan. So whoever wants to be part of the plan, y'all come on. We're going to take it over next week, next year. So what else? Next? September. If not September, right. February. But we're, we're shooting for September, October, which one, whichever one it is. Exactly. 
So again, guys, go out there and play with Facebook. That's going to be our next topic for our next training. I hope I helped you somewhat to get a little bit familiar with what we're going to be doing for social media. Don't be afraid of it. I promise you it won't come up and bite you unless you put stuff out there that will come back and haunt you. So that's my final words on the topic. And y'all have a blessed night. Night. <laughs>